scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty thank you Lord because you will grant liberty tonight let the oppressed be free let the sick be healed let those who are confused find direction I honor the name of the Lord and I bless you Hallelujah. praise the Lord Please walk to 10 people and just greet them. 10 people.
Bless you, be seated. Lord, we bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, bless our hearts tonight. Holy Spirit, we will never be tired of calling upon your name. Because Jesus left you with us to teach us. And when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide us into all truth. He will cause us to see and to know and to comprehend spiritual things. We thank you for the privilege and the opportunity. Lord, we bless you. You are the spirit of the living God. We are not ashamed to declare how helpless we are without you. You are the fountain of wisdom. It's in your light that we see light. Bless the name of the Lord. For his glorious presence in this place. The presence that can change. You have changed the stories of people. Lord, day and night we hear testimonies of the hand of God. The wonder working power you have made sinners to come into the fold many have been filled with the power of the Holy Spirit you have anointed men and women you have broken habits you have broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder you have opened for us the two leaf gates and caused us to walk in freedom See what you've done with our lives, oh God. You have taken the ordinary things and you have made wonders out of our lives. Lord, we acknowledge the way you transform people in this place. It's mighty. It can only happen by the Spirit. You're giving many testimonies of transformation, healing definition of their lives you are setting men apart for the things that you will be doing lord we bless you we bless you we bless you we bless you these are not the works of men it is the presence of the living god walking in the midst of his people and so we choose to say thank you hallelujah I bless your name and I pray that tonight it will not be different change somebody your people have come from their homes from other states except you help us tonight we cannot help ourselves but we trust the power of your spirit that great spirit of the living God open to us the bread of the spirit grant us access into the deep things of God. let the word equip us prepare us separate us make a wonder out of our lives we are available we give you all the praise for the glory of your name that Jesus will be glorified in our lives we're not interested in shadows. We want the substance. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. You're the King of kings, Lord of lords. This is our prayer, Lord. Let your kingdom reign in my life.
of my praise King of kings You're the Lord of lords Tonight let your kingdom reign In our hearts Adonai Your love, I will forever 
sing your praise. Listen. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. That's why, your oh Lord, I will forever sing your praise. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. That's why I will forever sing your praise. I will sing, I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your work. And I will forever sing your praise. And I will forever sing your praise. Bless you. Let the name of the Lord be exalted. Blessed is the Lord Most High. Lord, until you inhabit the praises of your people and you turn your Jerusalem into a holy place. Just soak in his glory for a minute, his mighty presence. God is healing, healing sicknesses, the healing anointing in this place. Shalom, 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 shalom. Shalom, 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 Jerusalem. Shalom, 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 Jerusalem. Shalom, shalom, coin on earth. Peace be to you. When Messiah comes to take us home, may his praise be found. 
Shalom, Shalom, Jerusalem. Hey, I prophesy peace to you. I prophesy peace to you when Messiah comes to take us home. May his praise be found in you. I speak to every storm in this place. Shalom, Shalom, Jerusalem. Peace be to you. Now, that Messiah is in this place. He's come to take it away. Let his praise be found in you. I'm prophesying to you. Shalom. Shalom. Koinonia. The bride of Christ. Peace be to you. Peace be to you. Let this be a place of peace. Let it be a place of power. Let it be a place of breakthrough. Let it be a place of intimacy. his name you may not realize what has happened to you have come to the end of ourselves. Take over, Jehovah. We have touched the end of ourselves. Take over now, Jehovah. We have come to the end of ourselves. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We have come to the end of ourselves. So take over, take over. We have come to the end of ourselves. Take over, take over. We have come to the end of ourselves. Can you personalize it? Take over, Lord. Take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over. We have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We have come to the end of ourselves. Hallelujah. 
Just the voices. Sing it from your heart. Come on. Take over. Take over. Lord, we have come to the end of myself. Take over. When you come to the end of yourself, then you will see his glory. a powerful song of dedication you will always rejoice when you come to the end of yourself that's when flesh dies and you release the spirit hey, take over yeah. Lord we have come to the end of ourselves take over take over we have come to the end about to share in this few minutes i pray from my heart that it will change you and set you on fire i pray that it will change you i pray that it will change you and do something remarkable in your life hallelujah praise the lord let's get to the word of god bless you it's good to have everyone around Make sure you have something to write. Presence of God is mighty in this place. Hallelujah. I want to teach on something very powerful. I want to share with you a very big secret tonight. And for as many who will consider it to be valuable I pray that many years from now it will make you a sign and a wonder because I am aware by now that not everybody is really interested in the things of the spirit just leave her alone hallelujah there will be a lot of impartations tonight because of what I'm about to teach hallelujah I want you to be sensitive Open your eyes. Will you open your ears? And then you'll understand that His presence is here. Open your eyes. If you open your ears, then you'll understand. Hallelujah. I want to teach tonight on the price for an extraordinary anointing. Never, never trivialize what you're about to hear. I'm here to preach my heart to you tonight. And I pray that somebody will take this seriously. May this message set somebody on fire. May this message answer the question somebody's heart the price for an extraordinary anointing hmm. hallelujah I've always wondered why certain people in this life seemed to be unusually extraordinary hallelujah why certain sportsmen were better than others why certain musicians and artists were better than others why certain preachers men and women of God what brought the power and the anointing of the spirit so mightily upon their lives when you read through church history you will see 
an archive of men that walked like gods upon the earth. Now there were others who did nice, great things, little things here and there, but there were others who were too extraordinary to be neglected. They shook cities single-handedly. There was, there was such a degree of the demonstration of the Holy Spirit upon their lives. Hallelujah. And I made up my mind years ago that my life was not going to be extraordinary. My life was not going to be normal. Sorry. I made up my mind years ago that I was going to live an extremely extraordinary life. Hallelujah. I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, if you have done these things with the people that have gone ahead of us, and yet you say there is a generation that will do more, I want to be that generation. Every time I picked up my Bible and I read the things that the Word of God said would happen, He said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believes on me, the works that I do, shall he also do and greater works and i carried my bible and said lord do you really mean this hallelujah and i began to study the life of extraordinary people i have spent a major part of my life studying extraordinary people in every area of life every area finance ministry leadership what made them so extraordinary because i don't want to be a mediocre jesus was born in a manger but when he was leaving heaven there was a crowd to celebrate his departure and i'm very disturbed and i must say this at the complacency that is upon especially preachers in the body of Christ there is a very low standard that many men and women of God especially around this country have set for themselves there is no pressure to go the extra mile and do amazing things for the kingdom hallelujah when I listen to certain preachers the presence of God that came out of their lives were amazing. It was compelling. You could not deny that these people knew the Holy Spirit. Are you listening to me? Very, very powerful. And one time I listened to William Branham. When I listened to his message, I was shaken. And the Holy Spirit told me, Abel, though dead, yet speaketh. What kind of anointing did men like Elisha carry that although they were dead, a dead body meandered that place and suddenly jacked up. Are there such people in the earth today? Are you listening to me? Am I challenging somebody? For desperate people do desperate things and we're pressing in. There's gotta be more, gotta be more. There's gotta be more than this. For desperate people do desperate things and we're pressing on. There's gotta be more, gotta be more. Help me sing. It's gotta be more than this. We are the desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are the desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. Cause I'm tired of the status quo. There's gotta be more than this. Listen. There's got to be more than what we are watching on our television. Are you listening to me? There's got to be more than what we celebrate as ministry and power today. There's got to be more. This cannot be all of God. Certain people have become examples to let us know that there are possibilities that are obtained in God. It's just that the standard is high. 
The Bible says, who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? He lives in a hill and whoever will climb there will access some things. He said he shall receive a reward from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. I studied Ezekiel 47 and it challenged me. The Bible says out of the east side of the temple, a river came out. And he said an angel measured a thousand cubits. And it was to my ankles. That's a level. That's a measure of the anointing. But he didn't stop there. He said he measured another thousand cubits. And then it was to my knees. And the man would have chosen to stop there. But he said I will go for more. And he measured a thousand cubits. And it was to his loins. And he said, although this is great, by now you are a celebrity, you are on every television, but he said there is still more. And the Bible says he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river, a, an overflowing river. And the Bible says wherever that river went, the fish that was dead would come alive. Hallelujah. My anthem every time is that there is more. There is more. If you're a lukewarm person who does not have any pressure to press, you won't be my friend. You won't like me. My life will offend you. The price for an extraordinary anointing. I made certain vows with my life that I was going to leave a mark upon this earth before I go to be with the Lord or He comes to find me working. I made up my mind that I was not just going to be that preacher with a nice congregation and just having people and join the rat race of preachers fighting themselves and doing things as if the anointing has finished. Quarreling and writing things about them. No! That kind of life is for people who have refused to press higher. Hallelujah. See, let me tell you something. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is God's energy. The anointing is God's ability to do work. Just like in physics, we define energy or we define power as the ability to do work per time. That's the definition of the anointing. The power of the Holy Ghost. Resident in a man that causes the man to produce extraordinary results. The Bible says in Isaiah 20, 10, 27, it says, it shall come to pass in that day. Which day? The day you are interested enough to enter that dimension with the Spirit. That the burden shall be lifted from off thy neck and the yoke from thy shoulder. And it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. There are many preachers that go into ministry without the anointing. Many people trying to work for God. Many people trying to be great without the anointing. You have no ministry without the anointing. The anointing of the spirit is God's agency. His ability that can be resident in a man. Causing that man to do extraordinary things. And if that ability is not in you. You cannot pretend it's there when it's not there. Because it speaks. Hallelujah. Every time I watch television. I get blessed, but I get disturbed in my spirit. When I see the satisfaction that is upon men of God as they preach, in my mind I'm saying, is this, was this the whole vision that they saw when they began with God? If no, what happened on the way? And then one time the Lord began to speak to me about the extraordinary anointing. And the Lord told me something that shocked me. He said, son, it is not up to me. It is entirely up to you to determine how far you want to go in the anointing. Many people think it's just God. He brings it whenever he wants. And if God likes you, he will just give it to you. If anybody has preached that to you, I'm telling you right now, right now, that is not true. Psalms 89 says, I have found my servant David. He had to make himself available. And with my holy oil have I anointed him. Hallelujah. Every time we watch extraordinary people during the Olympic, the attention of the whole world were on a few 
who did extraordinary things. Their age, their gender, their race, their background, notwithstanding. The world has always stood in honor of extraordinary people. Ordinary people have not done anything to the world. When they give people Nobel Prize, it's because they did extraordinary things. Hallelujah. And I want to challenge you tonight that there is a dimension in God that you can press into and you will access not just an anointing, an extraordinary anointing. There are many people who claim to be prophets in this country. And you see that they, they are really called. But they have not contended to those dimensions in God. They are prophets who look like pastors or deacons. No pressure to contend for the deep things of the spirit. I was studying the gospels and I started crying. You know why I cried? Because in Bible times, all people needed to do was to locate Jesus Christ or any environment where he was around. Whether or not they would be healed was not the issue. They knew that once they saw Jesus Christ, that was it. Powerful dimension of grace. At what level in the church will people say, all I need to do, take me to that place. When I get there, I will find God. When I get there, no matter what the problem is, there must be a solution. Right now, to get to a place where a man of God is, is only the first question answered. The second question is to hope. Hope that at least God will attend to me. And every time this is my cry, I say, Lord, don't send me if I'm going to be an ordinary person. Hallelujah. Someone spoke to me one day and said, Josh, I think you need to go on air. I said, me? I will never go on air until I have a message for the body of Christ. Are you hearing me? I'm not going to go on air and have somebody scroll my channel and say, wow, he's a nice man of God next. No, no, no. There's got to be something extraordinary. This is what I, I made up my mind. That will never officially begin to record koinonia messages until there was something that was substantial enough for the body of Christ to have. There are many people writing books and tapes that are empty. They have no power and no ability. They are just psychological jargons. No power to change people. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, the Bible says, with the Holy Ghost and with power. And the Bible says that he had the spirit without measure. And he went about doing good and healing all day that were oppressed of the devil. Acts 10, 38. I made up my mind that I was going to explore. See, can I tell you the truth? As far as I'm concerned, I've not started ministry yet. I feel very sad when I see a lot of people. They just say, I've been five years in ministry, seven years. I tell them, keep quiet. What is ministry? Ministry is representing God, being an ambassador. How much? What have you done? What mark have you made? When I begin ministry, the world will know. The Bible says, John remain in the wilderness until his season of appearing. Many people just get up, they start churches, they gather people, they have no message, they have no nothing. What do you have that has not been heard before? The Bible says there is a path which no fowl knoweth, and a path which the feet of the lion has not trodden. Many men of God, what is happening in this country is just a repetition, copy and paste of spiritual things. There is no new. But the Bible says, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. See, behold, I do a new thing. Hallelujah. Nelson Mandela became sick and he kept the world at a standstill. Christians, non-Christian, and everybody was praying. When Obama came, he had to go and visit him. Listen, this is, this is amazing. What made him an extraordinary leader? My, my first challenge for you tonight 
is that you must refuse to be ordinary in life. I want to challenge you. You must refuse. It's a determination. It's a decision. I refuse to be extraordinary. Call it pride. I don't care. Hallelujah. There is a level where you can get hold of an extraordinary anointing. It will produce an extraordinary ministry. It will produce an extraordinary life. Kenneth Hagin of blessed memory. A man who lived an extraordinary life. He had such a, a mighty anointing upon him. William Branham. I watched the video of Jaco. And they brought a lady who had cancer. Are you following me now? It was, it was a growth. It was swollen. I watched it. It's not like they told me. This guy held it and peeled it away. He was even sitting on a chair. He held it, peeled the cancer away. No blood. He was showing people. What is our boasting? What is our bragging for? I made up my mind I will never officially celebrate my birthday until I have a reason to celebrate. Birthdays is not a celebration of the day you were born. It was a celebration of, for what you are doing, what you were called to do, what you are living for. Are you listening to me? When I watch the videos of these people, I, I get broken. Mighty men! William Branham would move and because of the degree of anointing that was upon him, a hollow will move together with him. Ketun Kuman was so full of the Holy Ghost. She carried the anointing to a point that one time on stage she had crossed the stage yet she was still floating. She didn't even realize it. Who through faith subdued kingdoms? Who are these men? Who are this strange breed of people that defied the ordinary status quo of their days and told themselves they were going to press. The difference between extraordinary, listen to me please, the difference between extraordinary and ordinary is that word, extra. Hallelujah. Every time I want to counsel people, I just say, Lord, are these people going to gather and I'll just waste their time. Or will they really receive something? Can I tell you something? The body of Christ is so frustrated. Many people are frustrated. Because preachers make a lot of mouth about things they have no anointing to defend. Hallelujah. A lot of preachers come and we brag and we make all kinds of noise. Oh, if God doesn't heal you, you don't have faith. Blah, 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 blah. And now the sick people come and they go back. And then they run to herbalists. And we have, we carry our big mouths and we criticize them. When the herbalist in a village is doing what a preacher has refused to do. And people are desperate for help. They will do anything. Including leaving your church or your ministry. And they will find solutions. Are you listening to me? Jesus climbed the mountain. A crowd followed him there. Jesus went to the wilderness. A crowd followed him there. He was in a room. The Bible says a whole city came and filled there. Men who knew that they were going to get substance. There is a lot of wastage happening in the body of Christ. Men and women of God. Just joking around and playing around. And the, the circumference of all what we call anointing. The moment a man of God's dream is to get to the point where you can touch somebody or blow air and somebody falls. It's enough demonstration to people that you are anointed. People fall down, get up and clean themselves. Nothing changes. Hallelujah. There are certain meetings in my life. I entered some of those meetings just once, but I will never forget. Hallelujah. Never forget. T.L. Osborne entered only one meeting. One meeting of William Branham. Just one. And it set him on fire forever. Just one. I told God, I said, Lord, the deadline for transformation in any life in Koinonia is two meetings. Two meetings. Every time I pray, I said, Lord, 
let it not be that somebody will come for koinonia at least twice and not be changed and you ask the person how was service say wow it was nice but that somebody will come and at the end of it he cannot even talk the person is just on his way going and you're saying what happened he said i can't i can't begin to describe the impartation i don't know if it was impartation i got or revelation i got i don't know i know that i got something you'll be like a snake that swallowed something else he can't move until after some days where you know that god is in this place there are people seated here who are sick there are people who are oppressed And we men of God feel it's not an issue. And, and you know, shame on we preachers to an extent that whenever you see people being delivered and free, men of God begin to get angry and criticize. This is how much we are not even interested in the agenda of God. Someone gets free, someone gets delivered. See, let me tell you something. I made up my mind the Bible says, he who walks with the wise shall be what? He who walks with the great shall be what? He who walks with the extraordinary shall be what? I love everybody, but I will not follow everybody. I am determined to make sure that a lot will be done for the kingdom of God in my lifetime. This is why there is no satisfaction. I've had one or two awards that were given to me. You will never find them on my table. Those things are deceitful. Very deceitful. Award that a few people just came together and said, take, you did this and that. You now place it and you are smiling and it's lying to you. See, when I was in secondary school, it was in a local government where you know many people were not even serious with their studies so we're the best we're the best school in that local government what we call local champion if we came for debate in your school just start crying by that standard hallelujah until we made up our minds one day to visit a school that was used to competing with people going state by state that day, they showed us that the ceiling of somebody else can be the foundation of the next building. Hallelujah. When I came back, listen, when I came back from that debate, I was ashamed of myself. I ran to the state library. I had been the best student in my class until I tried writing jam mats. After five hours, I got four four one two three four i checked the back of jam brochure and they said there were certain people that got 300 and something i said joshua selma you are joking many of us have lived in circles that have lied to us too much we think the whole world is like our little community hallelujah that's how many men of god are they, they have surrounded themselves by with psychophants and liars who make them feel they have every anointing in the world then one day you go and try something that you don't have grace for and you receive a root shock then you begin to say it's not true this thing didn't work for me anybody that is doing it is not of god this is fake shut up that you are lazy and you are not pressing does not mean everybody has refused to press there are people who will not stop are you listening to me the price for an extraordinary anointing there can be more than what you have seen there can be more there can be more many of us stopped pursuing god the day somebody fell down under the anointing you don't know whether it was you or it was the person's prayer you just know it happened around you from that day you were convinced Whenever you go for meetings and they are ministering to people, you are waiting for them to say, ministers, come and lay hands. They say, ministers, you get up. What do you have? What do you have? How many? How many of it? 
He said, listen. He said, what do you have in your house? He said, I won't lie. I have something, but it's little. Sometimes you need to accept that you have, but what you have is not enough. The woman said, I have oil, but it's in a small cruise. The prophet said, all right. Let me show you something that can expand the oil for you. She never would have believed that there can be more. Hallelujah. I get very, very, I get very disturbed when I see people go for meetings. And to worsen the case, you want to see the disorganization of men of God wait until the anointing begins to break out in a meeting. Every man of God's body is itching him. Everybody wants to hold the mic. God has not finished or just wait. There, there, are, there are some people there at the back, at the back. All these, all these things we are doing. For 10 minutes you are talking. You are just, it's like starting a generator. Go and sit down. There are certain people, Catherine Kuman, before she got to the venue of the meeting, kilometers away, people started falling under the anointing. This is how they knew Catherine Kuman was coming. One time she finished the meeting and they were pressing her and they had to follow her through a kitchen door. The moment they opened the door, all the chefs, all of them were under the anointing until she passed. She was not praying. This was her default state. Hallelujah. Am I challenging you tonight? Sometimes when people call me to come and minister, as soon as I finish the ministration, I don't even want to hear any comments because I have to run. In my mind, I've left Zaria. In my mind, I've left Nigeria. I will not be fooled. The future of ENI is in that letter I, international. If you think what we have now is enough to feed the world, go and sit down. How many of you have seen people produce poster? And when you are seeing it on the laptop, you think that's the best poster you have produced. It's when you print it out and paste it, you see that it's as ordinary as the ones around. I refuse to be ordinary. There is a realm in God. Listen, can I tell you, when you hit that realm, you will start resting. You have entered the Sabbath of greatness. You will rest. Until you get to the seventh day, do not rest. I'm going to share with you four keys. Number one, This is not what I'm just preaching. These are keys that I've made up my mind that they'll be part of my life. Can I tell you something? Look at me. God is challenging some of you tonight. Some of you have not backslided, but you have, not, you have stopped growing. You've not backslided, but you are, there are many preachers in Nigeria that have stopped growing. They've not gone back, but they are in the same realm for a long time. It's just because where they have gotten to is, is substantially great. And it has been able to achieve one or two things. May your life produce a wonder that the world has not seen. May your life be the vehicle that God will reveal the more part of him that many people have not seen. Number one. You want to have an extraordinary anointing. The first price to pay is the price of consecration. The price of consecration. I will run very fast. Joshua 3 verse 5. The price of consecration. You don't hear this message is preached in church. Many people don't care. When I talk of consecration, I'm not just talking about run away from ladies. No, no, no. That's not even what I'm talking about. Consecration. To consecrate means to set apart. Consecration requires absolute surrender. Joshua 3 verse 5. Joshua 3 verse 5. If you want the Lord to do mighty things through your life, can we read it? One to read. And Joshua said unto the people, 
sanctify yourselves if you do that what will happen tomorrow the lord will do wonders among you you want to see wonders in your life the first key is the price of consecration consecration requires absolute surrender everybody say absolute surrender you will never have the extraordinary anointing when you have your own agenda. You just want to use God's anointing to do your own agenda. Uh -uh. When God calls you, his first assignment is to kill you. You die to yourself, to your ambitions. Listen, you do not know the degree of surrender that brings authentic power and anointing. How many of you remember that gentleman, Sadiq Ibrahim? Some of you will remember him. He was right here in Koinonia. This guy wanted to be, he was in a group called Highlanders in Port Harcourt. Very serious occultic group. And he wanted the power of invincibility. He wanted to be able to do great things. When he met the Habalist, the Habalist told him, you have to consecrate yourself. For three days and three nights, he was lying down in a graveyard. His eyes did not see any man. I'm telling you how the devil gives people power. Three days, he said in the night, he will see people come out of graves and move. And you were not supposed to shift. They will touch him. It's a, many of you do not know that the anointing comes with a price. That's why you see, when you talk against a man who is truly anointed, whether you are right or wrong, God will punish you. Are you listening to me? Absolute surrender. Consecration requires enduring the pain of being different. Oh, it's painful to be different. Let me tell you. It's painful to ride a different, a different plane of life. When everybody is going this way. When this is their definition of success. Moses was in the backside for 40 years. When his age mates were ruling in Egypt, he left the luxury of Egypt to prepare for an extraordinary ministry. 40 years! At the end of it, he came back to Egypt. He said, I'm ready. Oh, you can know you are ready. And it will not be pride. You can know you are ready. There is a time called the season of appearance. Are you, are you listening to me? Years ago, I hope I'll be able to share a few stories today about myself. Years ago, when I started preparing, when the Lord showed me the visions of the extraordinary things I'll be doing, in my mind I said, Lord, will people believe these things? And then the Lord began, sometimes the Lord will hold me in a room. Three days I've not come out. My eyes have not seen the light. Three days. I would stay there just praying. Sometimes sleeping, I will wake up and I will lie down. And a mist, like a cloud, will literally come into the room by the shape of a man. A real mist, I'm not talking of some metaphysics hallucination. If you are seeing it, you are seeing it. If it's like it is not there, you are either seeing it. This is Sam. This is music director. Hallelujah. I had very strange experiences. And I knew that this was a preparation for an extraordinary ministry. Many of you, this is what has been happening to you. Hallelujah. But nobody has told you. They've not encouraged you to know. Are you, are you listening to me? Many of you, you don't even know. And you are not serious because you started joining people. You now want to run and go and start a church or a fellowship. You've not even done anything. Ella, you'll be my secretary. Matilda, you'll be the PA. You are the one who will buff me. You are the one who will dress me. You will be going to the restaurant for me. Say, God gave me a commission. He said, now my son, arise and raise me a generation. Sit down. He said, arise from his perspective. See, let me tell you something about the word of God. God speaks from the realm of eternity. Everybody say eternity. He speaks from the realm of eternity. There is no time. 
So when the word comes to you, it comes with such a strong urgency, you think you should get up and go immediately. You must sit down and find the time component of every prophecy. That's why when prophets heard from God, they said, according to the time of life. Are, are you following me? Thank you, Jesus. It's painful to stand out. Listen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's painful to stand out. It's painful to be unusual. It's painful to be controversial. If you are not ready, forget about an extraordinary anointing. These are strange and rare people. That's why many people cannot make it to that list. They are too conscious of themselves. You must die to yourself to carry an extraordinary anointing. They will talk about you. They, we are speaking about Satan and Jesus at the same time. Two extremes. No matter, you will have to be in between two of them. Different in your life. Different in your mindset. There are ways they do things in your house. Now you make up your mind and say, no way. These sacrifices and this idolatry and the rest count me out. This is not going to be part of my life. I'm preparing for an extraordinary life. And people look at you. Say, so this thing has been there for how many years? Until the reward comes, you will look foolish. So let it not be strange to you. When you get to this realm, you will die to yourself. Literally. Everybody say the price of consecration. Many people do not like this. You know what? See, one of the biggest problem with the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, especially the American church, and now it's coming into Nigeria, we love comfort too much. Are you listening to me? The Holy Spirit is called the comforter. But listen, I need you to know that any sensible man knows that you don't get comfort from day one. When they give birth to a child, the first thing he receives is a slap. That's a sign to show that he's alive. Are you hearing me? Many people want pampering. We have built churches that want pampering. You say something that is striking. People say, we don't like this kind of preaching. No? We'll stop sowing into this ministry. And the man of God said, alright, we'll, we'll, we'll think of how to, to arrange it. May Koinonia never become the place that will water down truth because we are looking for money. Hallelujah. Everybody say the price of consecration. Before David was anointed, Psalm 89 said, I have found. Do you know what it means for God to find a man? The psalmist said, where can we hide from your presence? Yet God is saying, finally I found you. Because many people just want comfort. We want to use the anointing of God to accomplish our own agenda. And so the first thing is you must die to yourself and die to your agenda. I was listening to Benny Hinn. He was talking to some youths. And he was telling them, he said, look, you people do not know the price that brought this level of anointing to my life. He said, I don't know the, name of, the names of footballers. I don't know the names of music artists. He said one time his son asked him to take him to a basketball place. He said when he got there and he saw people jumping, he could not understand what they were enjoying. The anointing will change you. It will make you strange. People will say you didn't used to be like this. Where has your social life gone to? What happened? You will find it in the future. Give it up now. There are pastors who do visitation from Sunday to Sunday. Even Sunday morning, they quickly visit a rich man's house before they run to church. And then they believe that they are going to get an extraordinary ministry. And there are many people now want methods. Young Cho went to preach somewhere. He pastors one of the largest churches in the world. Hallelujah. And many Americans just sat down with their notepad. They believe he was going to give them 31 guaranteed methods. You know, this is what we like now. Do this. Add A to B to C. This will happen. 
Young Cho came up. He doesn't speak English too well. Paraphrasing. He said, you people don't pray. You are not serious. You just sit down. You want the anointing. And he went and sat down. That was the end of his message. It was a prophetic rebuke. Authentic prophetic Bible type prophetic rebuke. Hallelujah. That was the message. He who had an ear in that meeting should hear. Go back to the secret place. We like methods. Right now we read all kinds of psychological books. Unbelievers are writing books to govern church ministry. How to attract a crowd. 20 quick ways. Guaranteed. And many gullible men of God who are lazy. Just get up. You see them watching CDs. You would think it's something that will provoke them. A motivational speaker sits down. He says when you come. Start with a story. When you start with a story, use an example. When you do that, do this and that. You tried it, it didn't work because you are in Nigeria. Everybody say it. Nigeria. Nigerians have not been trained to tolerate nonsense. We are coming out from witchcraft straight. We are looking for something authentic. You don't come and tell people these jargons and junks. They will manage it for two days. They will laugh. We'll, we'll. When it gets bad, they will call you and say, Pastor, I sow the seed, I prayed, it's not working. If you don't respond to me by next week, you will see me in your church again. Hallelujah. The price of consecration. Listen. Every great man knows that you must give up something to go up. Did you hear what I'm saying? You must give up something to go up. Politicians know this. By 1 a.m., you are sleeping, a politician is in a Habali's house just to get little political office. What has made the body of Christ so lazy? I believe in seed faith, but let me tell you the truth. If you want an extraordinary life, it's beyond money. Are you listening to me? It's even beyond impartation. A time will come, you must dig your own well. Your customized dealing with the spirit. When you get it, you will know those who are having what is not it. If you are the best student in your class and you see the dullest student getting 99, you know something happened. Because you know what you are doing that makes you the best. Hallelujah. Many believers cannot detect error because they themselves have not entered the substance. Hallelujah. The price of consecration. Revelations 18 verse 4. Revelations 18 verse 4. Powerful statement. He said, Come out of her, my people, that you will not partake of her sins, that her plague will not come upon you. The Lord is speaking to his bride. He said, Come out of her, my people. Come out of that status quo. Hallelujah. And I heard a voice, another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye not receive her plagues. Everybody say, I'm coming out. Refuse it. Refuse it. You want to be a man of God? You better, some of you are attracted at their vanities. You, you spend day and night browsing church structures you believe that is how to be in ministry hallelujah browsing church structures and then you finish you say this is the car and you gum it in your room and keep speaking it the car that will carry me look let me tell you something faith is not foolishness sit down and pay the price and tell the Lord, search my heart. There are tendencies. I don't know how it will be the day I see 500 members. Who are loyal to you and can open up their spirit. The price of consecration. You cannot want to live like any other person. I say it with all humility. You will not find me around. Just gallivanting around. You say, what are you doing? Say, today is a happy day. I just feel like strolling. I'm at the season of my life. Where I am still at the preparation stage for an extraordinary life. The moment I finish preaching in Koinonia, I run back and lectures continue. I'm in the school of the spirit. No amount of manifestation will stop it. 
when I go home, I just get on my knees and I say, Lord, I thank you for what you did. I thank you for the mighty things that happened. And the Lord says, let's continue. Well done, but let's continue. The journey is still far. Everybody say, I choose to sanctify myself. Say it, I choose to sanctify myself. There are many things that take our attention in the body of Christ. Computer games. Some of you is movies. You can watch movies from morning. You only stop to eat lunch. Immediately you finish. Which part? Which part? Did I watch that guy? Has, has a lady finally told him yes? Which part? You just come and sit down. The food will burn there. Later I say, off it for me, please. And they ask you, say, what do you want to become? Say, like Benny Hinn. Huh? Hallelujah. An extraordinary life. Listen, let me tell you. You must prepare for an extraordinary life. That's why oftentimes God will separate people away. He took Moses in the wilderness. He was alone. The price of consecration. Second Timothy 2. The last scripture. Let's run. Verse 19 to 21. The Bible says, Nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let every man that name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. The next verse says, But in a great house, there are not only vessels, listen, not only vessels of gold and silver, but vessels of wood and clay, or some versions say earth. It says some are unto honor. That means it's your choice. There are vessels in a great house, but not every vessel is unto honor. It says some are unto honor, and some are unto what? Dishonor. Here's the condition. It says if a man will purge, separate, consecrate, sanctify himself, it says that man will be a vessel unto honor, meet, fit, prepared, equipped for the master's use. Say I'm a vessel unto honor. The price of consecration. The price of consecration. There are many of you, every time you hear the word price, you don't like it. Let's drink ice cream. Hallelujah. Do you have money? No, 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 no. Don't mention it. We, we hate anything that has to do with price. The Bible says, Romans chapter 8 from verse 18. It says, I reckon, I come to terms with this fact that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in you. That's what the Bible says. I reckon that the sufferings, that means there are temporary setbacks. The sufferings of this present time. What time? The time of your preparation. It's not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in you. Verse 19 says, For the earnest expectation of creation waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Number two, the price of revelation and real intimacy with the Holy Spirit. You want an extraordinary anointing? This is the second price. The price of revelation. The price of revelation and real intimacy with the Holy Spirit. You will never be able to live an extraordinary life. You can never have an extraordinary ministry. If you do not know the person of the Holy Spirit and you do not have revelation. Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 17 to 19. Paul began to pray and say for this cause. I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. That he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom. And revelation in the knowledge of him. 18 says, The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know enlightenment. You want to be great in life, you must go for knowledge. You must go for knowledge. You must go for knowledge. Are you hearing me? You must go for knowledge. You can't be great in ignorance. No. The Bible says in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, it says, My people perish for lack of knowledge. Satan is only as powerful as our ignorance will allow him. 
Success is very predictable when you understand the laws that govern it. Knowledge. Many of us don't go for revelation. You don't contend. You must become a student of the Bible if you want an extraordinary anointing. Are you listening to me? You must become a student, not just a recipient. Many of us want things from God, but we are not serious with the word of God. How amiable are your word, O Lord? They are my meditation all day long. I'm obsessed with the word of God. I think the word of God. My conversations are governed after the word. And I'm not just doing it to preach. If you are just preparing sermons, people will know. You can't pretend it forever. He said, thy word, O God, have I hidden in my heart. This is how you prepare for an extraordinary life. Be full of the word. Be full of the word. Be full of the word. You want an extraordinary life? Get back to the Bible. Go and sit down. Beyond morning devotion. My son, pay attention to my words. Proverbs 4. Incline your ears to my sayings. The Bible says, do not let them depart from out of thy eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. He said they are life to those who find them. That means not everybody is interested. But they are life to those who find them. And health to their flesh. The Bible says forever, O Lord, thy word is settled. Hebrews 11 from verse 1. The Bible says now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. He said for by it the elders obtained a good report. The Bible says through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. The worlds were framed by the word of God. The price of revelation. People who are extraordinarily anointed are men of the word. When you see a man who is anointed, when I talk of the word, I'm not talking of quoting the word. You will know they submit to the governing authority of the word. Being a student of the word is not just about talking it. There is a way you, you submit. Like you submit to a man. You have submitted to the authority of the word. Many of us read the word, but we have not submitted. To submit to the word of God means the word of God becomes the final opinion in your life. No matter what your argument is, when they bring the word of God, it ends every contention. John 5, 7, Jesus speaking. He says, if ye abide in me, and my words abide in you. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you. Very important. His word must abide in you. Hallelujah. He says, you will bear much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Hallelujah. John 16 verse 13. Let's look at, I'm just giving you these scriptures. John 16 verse 13. Can you look at it very quickly? John 16. God is changing somebody tonight. He said, how be it when he, the spirit of truth is come. Listen, let me tell you something. Koinonia is called intimacy and partnership. The first thing is intimacy. You must contend for the knowledge of the Holy Spirit. It is in the knowledge of the Holy Spirit that you experience the gifts of the Spirit in your life. You cannot have the gifts of the Spirit and the anointing of the Holy Spirit independent of His presence. When He, the Spirit of truth, is come, He will guide you into how many? That means there are many truths. He will guide you into all of them. It says... For he shall not speak of himself, but who, whosoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you. He will show you. Hallelujah. Very important. Let me show you something Jesus said, John 14 verse 10. John 14 verse 10, the second prize, the second key to an extraordinary anointing. I just have four of them. John 14 verse 10. Believest thou not that I am in the Father? Now, this was Jesus doing extraordinary works. And these people were dumbfounded. And they wanted the secret of his power. Listen to what he was saying. He says, and the Father in me, 
the words that I speak unto you, he said, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, the Holy Ghost, that source and sustainer that lives in me. He said, he doeth the works. Every time you see a mighty man doing things, he's not the one doing it. There is somebody behind him. I was not born like this. I wasn't born this way. That's my sister. My blood sister. I wasn't born this way. It takes a commitment and a determination. Go for revelation. It's too early to start looking for manifestation. You are at the stage of preparation. No matter how great you are, if you can become, no ma even if they make you a pastor of a church, don't let titles make you graduate yourself from the school of the spirit. Go and sit down. Pastor Femi is here. He's the senior pastor in Rema. And you come and sit down quietly. There are many people having his position now who start running. You must learn to sit down. Don't allow the applause that men are giving. Don't let it see. Don't let it take you away from the school of the spirit. Hear me tonight. There is more. It's time to eat because the journey is far. The angel told the prophet, he said, eat for the journey is far. He ate a little and he slept. The angel woke him again. He said, eat for the journey is far. And the Bible says he ate and he went in the strength of that bread, a 40 days journey. Number three. You want to see an extraordinary anointing in your life. The price of total obedience. Total obedience. Total obedience. Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5. For time's sake, we will not read it. Just read 5 to 10. Specifically verse 8. If you can project that verse 8. Shut up, Allah, Sense the anointing of the spirit in this place. Philippians 2 verse 8. The Bible says, I'm being found in fashion as a man. He humbled himself and became what? Obedient even unto death. Can I tell you something? There is a way you can be obedient that it will cost you. Are you listening to me? You must make up your mind whether you want to obey God or you want to obey men. It will cost you. It's called obedient unto death. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2. It says it shall come to pass. If thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord. To do and observe all that I command you this day. That these blessings, uh, you know, I, I, will, I will exalt you. shall be above all nations. And this blessing shall come to you and overtake you. Then it begins to list downwards. Hallelujah. Very important. Matthew 7, the Bible says, He that heareth my words and doeth them. Not he that heareth my word and just dances. No. Obedience, 24 to 25. Matthew 7, 24 to 25. It's like to a wise man that builds his house upon the rock. I want to challenge you. Many of you, the reason why God is not working with you is because you don't have a heart to obey God. There are some of you here, the day God asks you to empty your account, you will bind and cast and lose and curse. And even write it as a prayer request. That voice that likes taking what God has given me. Obedience. Obedience. Everybody say obedience. Obedience will cost you. Obedience will cost you. They can give you a ministration somewhere. There are great ministrations that have been given and the Lord says no. No. I just tell the protocol, no, I'm not going. I don't need to tell lies and say, okay, something, uh -uh. I, I'm not going to go. I remember one time, there was a pastor who invited me and I was praying. At the same time, there was an NCCF meeting in Delta. And for three days, I kept seeing myself there. And I had to call him because I had given him my word. They were so excited. They were preparing. I said, Pastor, I'm sorry to tell you, but the Lord wants me to be, the Lord wants me to be in Delta. The pastor was so sad. In his mind, he would say, so because my church is now not as big as a state conference, that's why you are not coming. No, not at all. I paid my transportation. I went there. 
And at the end of it, when I got there, the Lord told me, you are not collecting an honorarium. When they bring it, bless it and give them back. So it was not just, it was not for money at all. Obedience. Hallelujah. I've shared it. Well, it's, it's, not, it's not necessary. It's not something I'll say now. But somebody brought a huge gift for me one time this year. And when he brought it, I just looked at him. And I told him, I said, mm -mm. as he was, he was trying to offer me, I said, no way. Already God had told me no. How many of you can say no when God says no? How many of you can say yes when God says yes? You are afraid of being different. You are afraid of being criticized. You are not ready for an extraordinary anointing. Because one day, God will tell you to declare his counsel. And the fear of what men will say. Let me tell you something. Extraordinarily anointed people are stubborn people. They are men that can defy things. I don't mean rebellious. Mary said, whatsoever he tells you to do, do it. Someone met me one day and said, don't you think meeting once a week is too small for koinonia? I looked at the person, I said, back to sender. We don't do things just because we want to do it. No. As you see upon the mount, then you will do. If you do what God did not direct, you will defend it by yourself. Hallelujah. Obedience to the principles of the word. Obedience to the voice of the spirit. Many of us, when we started with God, one of the things that made our spiritual journey well was because we were living by the principles of God. Many of us are waiting for a word from God or a vision or a supernatural experience. But you are not obeying the truth of God's word that you are seeing. You want extraordinary finances. You are not tithing. You are not giving. You see somebody coming every week to give tithe. Say, so, are you sure this guy is not pretending it? Are you the only one God is blessing? <laughs> the performance is for obedient people. The performance is not just for hearers. Make up your mind to obey the word. No matter what it will cost you. Hallelujah. The last scripture there, Jeremiah 7.23. Jeremiah 7.23 God is separating people in this place to give them extraordinary anointings. He said, but this thing commanded I them saying, obey my voice and I will be your God and ye shall be my people. He said, and walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you that it may be well. You want it to be well with you, it will be on the wings of obedience. Hallelujah. Years ago, after we came back from our crusade, it was a powerful time. PFN called us and they said, we want you to come and establish a branch of your ministry. They were ready to give us an auditorium and give us pastors to train. I was excited. I went to the Lord. The Lord just answered me and said, you will die. That was exactly what I repeated to the people. I said, the Lord said, I will die. Yeah. Obedience. It's difficult to obey when you are going to lose a lot. It's easy to obey when the obedience is on to gaining something immediate. obedience I choose to obey the word I choose to live by his truth number four there are many of you who have done these three but the fourth key is what you have missed the price of consistency the price of consistency the price of consistency look at me everybody how many of you have seen someone cutting a tree? Do you know that if you keep hitting that tree, it looks like nothing is happening. There is one final hit that will cut the tree. That was not the strongest hit. 
he was the most consistent one. Are you listening to me? Many of us, listen, and let me tell you something. One of the greatest lessons, or yes, one of the greatest lessons that the Lord has taught me in this life is that it pays to wait upon the Lord. Impatience has cheated many people out of the blessings of God in this life. We are in a hurry for everything. Everybody say the price of consistency. Consistently doing the same thing. Regardless of the outcome. Regardless of the outcome. You tie it and you don't see the blessing. You say, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I know that God is behind his word. Great people in life are those who have done certain things consistently. Galatians 6 verse 9. Do not be weary in well doing. He said for we will reap in due season if we faint not. Do not be weary in well doing. He said and let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season we shall reap. Everybody say I will reap. Yeah. Some of you have been coming for koinonia again and again. Six months, things have not changed. Do not be wary. If it is what you are doing well, don't be wary. The Bible says you will reap because you are sowing. The only way the devil can kill your harvest is to stop you from sowing. The Bible says, He that sows unto the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. And he that sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap life eternal. In 1 Kings 18 from verse 30 to 46, we will not read it, just write it down. 1 Kings 18 verse 30 to 46. The Bible says, Elijah prayed seven times. Everybody say seven times. If Elijah stopped at the sixth time, it would not work. He had to pray how many times? In fact, the Bible is so graphic. He says he prayed the first time. He sent the servant, go and check. The man said, nothing. Oh. Consistency is what separates ordinary people and extraordinary people. Consistency. Consistency. You pray no matter the outcome. You study the word no matter the outcome. Consistency. Many of us, when we are at the edge of you are the verge of a breakthrough. That's when many of us give up. Hallelujah. In 2 Kings chapter 5, you read from verse 1 to 4, but let's just focus on verse 4. 2 Kings 5, the Bible says, the prophet had told Naaman, he said, if you want to be clean, go and dip yourself. How many times? Seven times. Naaman was complaining and grumbling. It didn't change him. The Bible says, ah, I thought they were protecting it. Hallelujah. Naaman dipped himself how many times? Don't worry, just do your work, media. Seven times. Do you know what it means to dip yourself? Many of you were baptized. They dip you only once. Imagine a great man. He entered the water. He entered and came out. He asked the slave girl, how many? She said, one. Do it again. He entered, came out. At the fourth time, he was already embarrassed. He was looking like mud. God said, seven times, Mr. Man consistency consistency there are many of you you are looking for a prophet to prophesy to you nobody comes god says just continue doing what you are doing that's the only prophetic word you need keep doing it pastor chris will say what how, how does he say it? keep speaking it don't stop saying it be consistent some of you start preparing for an extraordinary life and impatience will just cancel it out. How, and you know, see, it's dangerous because when you start a journey, you get to a point where you are in the middle. You, it's too far for you to go back and then you can't reach there. Many of us start the journey and you go back. You are traveling to Abuja. You've now gotten to Abuja Kaduna Expressway and you say, Kai, this journey is too far. I went to Meduguri on, on road. I slept and woke up. I don't know how many times. I asked the driver how many more hours. He said six or seven. I said, what? We've been on this journey since. I had to sleep on the road. 
But did that mean we were missing the way? See, that you have to wait does not mean you made a wrong decision. Continue. John 6 verse 15. I mean Joshua 6 verse 15. The crossing of Jericho. Joshua 6 verse 15. The Bible says, on that seventh day, you can imagine, to throw a big wall, God gave them an instruction. They went round once. The people in Jericho were wondering, who are these madmen? They had to die to themselves to know that whatever God tells you to do, it will work. On the seventh day, they now started going one, two, three, four, five. Madness. Six. At the seventh time, they blasted the trumpet. And the Bible tells us, see, the wall of Jericho did not fall down. It sank. Because the Bible says on the wall, five chariots could stand on it. So even if it falls, it will become another wall again. Sank. John 20 verse 11 when I was preparing these notes I just put all these scriptures and the Holy Spirit told me no there's one more my people must hear John 20 verse 11 the Bible says when Jesus resurrected all the disciples came and the one Jesus loved checked the tomb and they saw that Jesus was not there they checked once and they ran away but the Bible says Mary Magdalene stayed there everybody say consistency and when she checked again, suddenly she saw an angel. Consistency. Consistency requires patience. It requires uncommon patience. It requires grace. Hallelujah. Many people in ministry, they start and then God is telling them just be consistent. Don't compromise. Don't compromise. Teach your message. It may not be popular, but don't compromise. If, do you know that it's impatience and lack of consistency that makes people to derail from the things of God and get into witchcraft? They are looking for fast, fast fame, fast everything. They want a jeep fast. Fast jeep. One of the greatest revelations that God has put in me is the beauty of patience. I can wait. I've killed hurry from my life. I can wait. Some of you are in a hurry for everything. And this is your own becoming. You are in a hurry to, you want digital hearing God now. Let you just say thank you Jesus. And God just begins to talk. Five minutes later, he has finished. You say, I give you praise. Unfortunately, his system is not like that. They that wait. Hallelujah. Very important. Consistency. These four things are the things that I practice in my own life every time. And I'm determined not to stop it. This last one is probably new to many people. You are just seeing the power of consistency. Consistency. When you want to build a house, the workers come every day. They put three blocks today. Tomorrow they come again. They add four blocks. I was checking the database of Koinonia and I found out we're getting close to 5,000. The database, people who have been blessed, who have come to worship. I remember when we started it, 20 people, new people, 40 people, 20 people today, 100 people, 60 people, 400 people. Consistency. Everybody say consistency. I play a bit of keyboard. When I started, I was fairly consistent. And then I stopped being consistent. Do I like keyboard? Yes. Am I blessed by it? Yes. Can I play like I can? No. Why? You are not consistent. You see why many people are not consistent in God's presence. That's why they don't know when God speaks a thing. Consistency. Consistency. That's why we have a lot of people who are not stable with spiritual things. 
you run to this man of God today, Abuja or Lagos or wherever, you say, man of God, my life must change. He said, come and sit down under the word. Two weeks later, I said, man of God, it has not changed though. He said, just continue. He said, oh, let me find one that can give this thing to me sharp, sharp. Many of us have entered into all kinds of things. All kinds of things. Everybody say, I will, I will continue in the things that have started. Consistency. Let's do a quick review. Number one, the price of consecration. The price of consecration. Number two, the price of revelation. Consecration will kill you. You will take up the agenda of God and forget about your own agenda. There are some of you who finish service. You want to run and go for work. God will say, uh -uh. for you, you are exempted. The normal law is to look for a job. You, you are exempted. You are a lady, you finished. You are just planning. Thank God I will get married. God will say, uh -uh. you are going to marry in the next three years. Give me these three years of your life. Say, back to sender. I've always known. Enemy of progress. Now that is my breakthrough. It's my turn to shine. Consecration. You must die to yourself. You can't do everything. There are many of us, every program, secular or Christian, you are there. Something happens in TJ Palace, you come. You are happy. You just sit down there. Later, I say, Kai, it's time for fellowship. Let me run. And you, you wonder why your ears is as if they put cotton wool inside. You can't hear God. You always hear nonsense. Samuel had the voice of God because he was lying down close to the ark. If you lie down close to the ark, you will hear the voice of God. An extraordinary life. I'm saying this today because it will happen by the Spirit. He and I will be an extraordinary ministry. I won't be. I have come to the end of my sin. Take over, Jehovah. I have touched the end of my life. Listen, don't be in a hurry in your life. Stop following the plan that people have carved for themselves to define success. You will fall into a ditch you may not recover from. Receive the blueprint. When you see your life becoming strange, it's a sign that there is an uncommon call upon your life. Endure it. It's working for others, but when God gets to you, you will train others and raise them, but you, God will say, sit down. There is a reason. You are coming to the end of yourself. I remember one man who God instructed and said until he buys 15 cars for people before he buys one for himself. At the end of the third card, the wife told him, see, I'm going to leave you. I've been keeping quiet about this thing. It's paining me. Because people started embarrassing the woman. They say something is wrong with your husband and you are a foolish woman. You won't go and do something about it. Fifteen. That was the instruction God gave him. This guy will walk like an elephant and carry money and buy a car. A Jimmy's mother of blessed memory. Before she went to be with the Lord. She was preparing to buy a nice car for herself. And then the Lord gave her an instruction that she should buy a brand new Toyota Corolla and go and give one of her junior staff. How many people will slap you when you do that kind of thing? Ladies, if your husband comes and says, Honey, come and give me a hug first and a kiss. And you feel, he says, What is it? I can't wait. He said, God has spoken. He said, Alright, sit down. Now, we are going to evacuate this house here, the Spirit of God. The house that you built with your own money. They will call you from the village, quit. They will say, come back home. Before you come home, they have prepared what will recover you from that mindset. They will say, just drink this before we start talking. Because you are not well. Mad men are the ones who have changed this world. Uncommon people. Uncommon people. Uncommon people. Some of you have to trek long distances to come for koinonia every week. 
but you are determined consistency go for revelation stop doing cheap ministry you will start insulting great people don't join that group stay with the spirit until you catch a substance of life when you have a message i promise you the world will hear you forget about money chase god you will find other things he said but seek ye first the kingdom seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness and all other things a time will come if somebody pays you one million per week he has insulted you you hold on if you can endure he that endures to the end not stop at the middle if you start a race a marathon and you're running assuming you're supposed to go around zaria you started from abu you are almost coming and you are at, you are at um, energy research and you collapse there will they say hey yeah we understand we saw your effort we have been watching you when they list the names of those who are disqualified they will put your name there so the person who just started from here to aviation and stopped and you you have now been put in the same class everybody say i'll be consistent say i'll be consistent pray in tongues it's too early to pray and start saying oh i'm looking it's something mm -mm. koinonia is where we are today because we have been consistent for four years god trained us we're coming every night people were sitting on the floor pastor williams and his wife with the kids sometimes will come all the way from sabo married people they will come and sleep in the students hostel they are looking for something tomorrow now somebody will see him and the wife will say how are we sure this woman said she's just chopping ripping where she didn't so somebody spoke against um catherine Ma maria woodward eater she said the lord judge you the person's tongue became like banana until he wrote an official letter of apology and she slapped it back hallelujah i was told was it oedeko or, or adeboe that somebody saw the things that they were doing and the woman just hissed and trivialized it oedeko that woman was barring for i don't know how many years from the story one time she went to a prophet searching for solution the man wanted to pray for her and he said stop god is revealing to me that you have offended a great man of god this is what is responsible she called the name the woman packaged a seed don't worry those who are talking against you will sow into your life for recovery from their madness tomorrow just continue continue anytime you see a great man i was i was speaking to my sister you know she was over at my place and i was talking to them and i was telling them something i said one of the greatest things i've learned in life listen to me see if you try to defend yourself hear me you are god god doesn't have anything to do again are you listening to me there are many of us they just you just pray for five hours you want to explain to everybody <laughs> Be convinced about this at every point of your life those who love you are greater than those who don't don't lose touch with those who truly love you and be focusing on a few people out of the 12 it was only judas who didn't love jesus not 11. jesus focused on the people who loved him some of us want who loves me do you like me do you don't like me do you don't like me you say why now let me let me make you like me extraordinary people are lonely people lonely people until they arrive and then everybody will see moses was alone they didn't come for visit for him they didn't send any bounty from egypt they thought he was dead but when god was done with him he became a sign and a wonder are you ready to pray tonight rise up on your feet rise up on your feet we are going to cry to the Lord the Lord is calling you into an extraordinary anointing into an extraordinary anointing we are going to pray for just five minutes and we'll round up hallelujah are you ready to pray are you ready to pray 
Everyone hold your hands together and let's pray in tongues for just one minute. Sheka prasata kata balada bakata bregede balada bos. Rakata bakata prekata kata bakata prakata balada ba. Zembra teka poka sapota kata balada bakati gada ba. There's a realm, a realm of the extraordinary, the realm of champions. That's where world changers dwell. It's a mountain where the eagles dwell. Not where the birds are. Not where the chickens are. It's a pedestrian. It's a plane in the spirit. It's the place for mighty men. It's the place for great men. Writers of history. History makers. World shakers. Ambassadors indeed. Men whom the earth is not worthy of. Come on, pray. Se prosko pote kete lebo kotia. Se proske poš. Se kete ke prosko se ke priada. A ne prosko so preska. Re kete keta. Ke prosko prete keta na mama mama. Re poto prete na mama mama. Prayer point number one. Lord, I refuse an ordinary life from today. I make a vow and a commitment. I will not be ordinary. Go ahead. Not in business. Not in leadership. Not in my job. Not in ministry. I contend for an extraordinary anointing. I refuse to be average. Not in ministry. An extraordinary healing ministry. An extraordinary deliverance ministry. An extraordinary preaching ministry. An extraordinary apostolic ministry. Pray. An extraordinary prophetic ministry. Extraordinary evangelical ministry. Pray. I will be an extraordinary worshiper. An extraordinary worshiper. An extraordinary worshiper. An extraordinary businessman. Tell yourself. I am destined to be great. My parents may not know it. Pray. The people in my community may not know it. But I'm determined. I refuse. I refuse the ordinary. I refuse the ordinary. My name will be written in the sands of time that I did terrible things in righteousness. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. You are going to pray all of these four things. Grace to pay the price for consecration. Grace to pay the price for revelation and intimacy. Grace to pay the price for obedience. Grace to be consistent. You know where you have been, we have been faulting. Lift your voice and pray. Grace, oh God. Grace. Grace, grace, shake the goto palata pa, repose ko pariyada ba. Grace to separate myself from the cares of this world. Grace not to entangle myself with the lusts and appetites that hinder the anointing. Grace, lift your voice and cry. Shake the pros ko breke te kala, man protos ko maria. Grace. To live a sanctified life, grace to live a life that is set apart, grace, grace, pay the price, pay the price. Lamentation Street 27. It is good that a young man bear his youth, his, his, his yoke in his youth. Pray for grace, lift your voice and pray. Grace for revelation. Grace for revelation. Say, Lord, grace to be a student of the word. I will buy books. I will buy tapes. Day and night. Day and night. I will sit with the word. Day and night. I will sit with the word.
pray for intimacy with the Holy Ghost. Tell yourself, Holy Spirit, I'm tired of pretending like I know you. I want to enter a tangible experience. I want to hear your voice. I want to walk with you. Koinonia, I long for that intimacy. Pray for grace to obey. Lift your voice and pray for grace. Grace to obey. Lord, I've been disobedient. Lift your voice and pray. Grace to obey. No matter what it will cost you, you will be different. They will mock you. They will criticize you. Every great man followed that path. You are not the first. You will not be the last. Enjoy it. Pass through it. Enjoy it. Pass through it. When you become great, your life will explain the process. Pass through it. Make up your mind to obey God. Be uncompromising. No matter what it will cost you. Finally, pray for consistency. Consistency. Some of you stop doing the things that brought you to this realm. That's why you've not gone higher. Lift your voice and pray. Consistency. I will stop fasting. I will stop fasting. I will stop praying. No. No. Nothing will make me stop fasting. Nothing will make me stop praying. Hey, Potokoto. I will stay with the word. I will read books. I will watch videos. I will spend time in worship. I will build myself. I will develop myself. I will learn from great people who have gone ahead of me. I will give my eyes no sleep until I do the things that will move me forward. No matter the commendations, I will let it get into me. I make up my mind to be consistent. To be consistent. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, in one minute, I'd like you to pray. Say, Lord, I know that your hands are not too short. I cried my life unto God. I said, Lord, tonight, as you bless men, do not forget me. As you change the stories of men, as you have always done, do not forget me. Go ahead and pray and say, Lord, my life is free from immorality. My life is free from a lying tongue. My life is free from idolatry. Tonight, my eyes are lifted up to you. Come on, pray. He's here tonight to bless us. I have made you too small in my eyes, oh Lord, forgive me, and I have believed in a lie that you are unable to help. Who told you God cannot help you? But now. Oh Lord, I see my wrong. Heal my heart and show yourself strong. And in my heart, and in my heart, and with my song. Oh Lord, be mad. Make sure you're singing it from your heart. Inside and outside, be magnified. Be magnified. Oh Lord, magnified. Oh Lord, you are highly exalted.
Now tell the Lord what you want him to do in your life tonight. Say it so that when it happens, you will know he did it. Don't keep quiet. Say, Lord, change my story. Deliver my family tonight. Hallelujah. 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 The devil is a liar. Are you listening to me? The Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Spirit of the Lord. Lord. Come and make your presence known with me. The glory of the Ale Lord let the heavens be open I command the miracle angels the angels of deliverance across the land and breath of this building Everyone who is standing in this place, let him be under the influence of the power. Yeah. I'm going to rebuke Satan and the works of darkness over people and families. Listen, it's time for any devil that is standing your way and that of your family to go. For the enemy has done this. And God has so highly exalted him. Lift your hands. As I rebuke the works of darkness. As the power of God comes upon you. Let me help them in front. Thou devil of darkness. It's time to go. Let God's people go. 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 Let the power of God fall. Fall. I command demons. Powers of darkness, for you cannot stand in the name that is above every other name. Go, or shall bring them outside. That devil, let God's people go. Those outside, lift your hands. The power of God sets men free. Sets men free. Set men free. Katala kapato toto bakata. Randa tabosa. You're going to shout Jesus once, and the power of God. Devils will leave. They must go tonight. They must go. Are you ready? Especially outside, the power of God will fall like rain. Shout Jesus. Let the angels, the angels of God, are moving with a sword in this place. The angels of God are moving with a sword. Change. Be broken, chains be broken, chains be 
be broken by the fire of the Holy Ghost. 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 No devil can stand. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. I tell you, no devil can stand. Outside, the angel of the Lord is moving with a sword. A mighty angel, a mighty angel, a mighty angel. Outside, a mighty angel, mighty angels, mighty angels, mighty angels. I don't know why angels are moving outside. But the Lord shows me angels, mighty angels, the northern army of the Most High, moving in power. We magnify your name. We magnify your name. Like fire. I see a whole roll outside. Like fire. A whole roll outside. Like fire. It's falling like rain. Like fire. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. This is a place for emancipation. God's people will go free. And no devil, no power in hell will stand the fire power. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity. At the back, this row, at the back, for you shall not stand over God's people. The fire of God upon one person at the back, you will not stand it. It comes like rain with power upon you. Every devil over God's people, those of you in front, at the count of three, I command every devil go. Go! One, two, three! Out! 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 Every enchantment. My sister, be free. Now, that devil, let her go free. 
by the fire power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. 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 Be free. That devil for the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the fathers. Bring that devil. Hallelujah. For you cannot stand the light of God. This lady has been tormented. Satan, out of her now. In the name of Jesus, be free. The heavens are open. God's power is touching everybody, not just those in front. Come out of him now. Come out of him. Come out of him. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Now be free. Come out of her. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Upon you. That fire power. Upon you. That fire power. In the name of Jesus. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Hallelujah. I see a woman. I see a woman who came with a child. A woman who came with a, a... I'm seeing a small boy. Where is the woman? Inside or outside? What's wrong with the child? His body is hot. His body is hot. Can you lose him? Can you hold him? If you are deaf, hear me inside and outside. If you are deaf, whether in one ear or both ears, if you brought someone who is deaf, put your hands in the ear that is not working. It's time for deaf people to be healed now. Or even if you are hearing, I see two people. You, you are hearing, but it's not clear because it looks like there's water. You literally feel like water is going to go now. For one of you, water will literally come out. Katapato kopaya. Deaf ears. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Ephata, be opened in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Death, yes. Make sure you check yourself. We'll take some testimonies. Bring this lady. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Hallelujah. Please, I need someone with a mic. What is wrong with the child, madam? Just I came back from the work and I had the body of the baby is hot. And I leave him nothing nothing to You him. believe God who set this boy yes, free right I, now. Yes. Oh, there are miracles. Yes. Listen, God there are miracles happening. Now. Once you are under the influence of his presence, God is changing lives, opening doors. name of the Lord Jesus I set you free the power of God is going through his body that's what is making him uncomfortable 
in the name of Jesus be free now be free now I command your temperature to go down your son is free take Hallelujah. Someone came. I don't know what it is that has to do with your leg. Is it pain in your joints or something around your leg? There's someone you came. You are not a regular worshiper here. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me someone like that with that case. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Once we call your case, we don't want to keep people so long here. Once we call your case, please run out quickly. Please. What's wrong with you? Anytime I walk, it always pains me. Anytime you walk, it always pains you. Where? Yes. How long has it been? Since when I was small. Bring a chair for me, please, quickly. What's wrong with you? Pain. It's paining you. Yeah. How about you? Please bring three chairs quickly, quickly. Let's save time. Just turn it. No, 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 turn it. God is healing heart conditions now. God is healing heart conditions. Hold on. There's someone you have abnormal, what do they call it, medical students? Help me. Heartbeat, irregular heartbeat. Irregular heartbeat. You? Okay, come. But there's another lady I'm seeing. She's taller than you. Irregular heartbeat. Sometimes it beats you even have to use your mouth. It's a very serious condition. Who is that? Please come quickly. Lord, we release now the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. What's wrong? Come, bring her. All right. Don't worry, I'm not saying you should pull up. Just, just remove your shoes, can you? God will give you a miracle here right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please watch your screen inside and outside. Watch your screen. Can you see that if you are looking very well, can you see that one of these legs is shorter than the other? Can you see it, please? Now watch what the power of God will do. Sister, look at me. Open your eyes. Don't miss your miracle. All right? Tell us whether we are pretty. Are you seeing that one leg is shorter than the other? This is why the pain is coming. You will literally watch it grow right now. Are you ready? Watch it. In the name that is above all names. Watch this grow. Are you seeing it? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at, look at, look at what is happening to this leg. In the name of the Lord Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Did you feel anything? Help out with the mic. What did you feel? Now try walking. Stamp it. Come. Get up and try to stamp it. Try to stamp it. Just stamp it. Try to stamp it. You still feel pains? You still feel pains? It's... No. Are you serious? Come on, celebrate a miracle. Come, come up here. Jump. Can you jump? Look at Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where's the other lady? While the ministers pray for you, this is a simple thing. I'm telling you, don't go around just pulling legs and disgrace yourself because that's what a lot of people do. You like this is not chambori. You disgrace yourself somewhere, someone injures you for nothing. Hallelujah. Praise God, sir. While they are praying so that we will save time, they'll pray for you. Hallelujah. This is what's wrong with you? A fracture on your leg. Which of them? How long? Like seven months. Yes, sir. You've been walking with this? Yes, sir. You can't walk except you use it. Yes, sir. Look at me. My brother, I bring you life right now. Amen. I, look at me. Look at me. 
in the name that is above all names i command the fractured leg to go let it join right now see look at what is happening to him look at what is happening to him this is the power of the holy ghost this is the power of the holy ghost going through the leg in the name of the lord jesus look at me sir look at me can you walk look at me just start walking follow me look at this look at this he came with crutches jump can you jump any pain fracture a fractured leg a fractured leg a fractured leg a fractured leg just got healed right now by the power of the holy ghost a fractured leg hallelujah if you're blind in one eye what happened to you sir there was a who knows him who came here with him oh you know him he's a popular person is it true that he has been working with this crutch come on give jesus a shout of praise yahweh i think we should give god some praise yahweh Let's have the mic. Pastor Jake just pray for him. What happened to you, sir? Make sure you don't tell lies. So, hallelujah. Actually, I, I had an accident. Listen, okay. The leg was paining me. The leg was paining you. Exactly. So, okay. When the man was, uh, when Pastor Jake prayed for you, it got perfect. It, it became perfect. Come up, come up, come up. Do what you couldn't do before. Do what you couldn't do. Jump up. Look at this. Look at this. Yahweh, 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 Hallelujah. If your blood group is SS or AS, now is the time for it to change forever. Listen, I'm serious. I'm serious. Please make sure you believe. We are not joking here. Outside, I see that there is a mighty miracle that God will soon do outside. AS. Hallelujah. You can connect for any member of your family. Anyone in this place. By the power of the Holy Spirit. We command AS and SS to change now to AA. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I sense someone has been healed in the ear. Someone has been healed in the ear. Please check. You came here with ear problem. Someone has been healed in the ear. The Lord is showing me someone who has been healed in the ear. Hallelujah. Sorry? My uncle has been treated for the past three Your years. uncle? Okay, hold on. I'm a footballer. My uncle has a twist. So every time... Your uncle has twisted? Yeah. How long? Time, three years now. Every okay. time I'm running, the uncle will be making some... Just remove your shoe. Let me make contact with it. What's wrong with you, sir? Irregular heartbeat. Eh? Irregular heartbeat. Oh, the irregular heartbeat. Watch it leave you now. The devil. Go! By the power of the Holy Ghost. Check yourself. Breathe. In and out. Test yourself. Could you do this before? Breathe in. Could you do this before? Look at this. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. You're free. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Please, ushers, hold him. Let me just make contact with your feet. Hallelujah. Or Bishop Stan, just pray with him. He will pray with you. Check yourself. You will be healed. Hallelujah. So we can concentrate. I, I used to have, I play hockey. Okay, listen to this testimony. I play hockey. I'm a sportsman, and over the years, I've been having this muzzle pull. Muzzle pull, okay. Yes, but outside there, I was feeling something. Outside there, his legs started shaking. I 
and right now there's no right now he's healed power of the holy ghost blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name of the lord pain in the right hand there's someone i'm seeing pain here very severe pain you even cry who is that person it's time for you to rejoice pain severe pain is like a shock in your right hand who is that person pain no 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 check yourself please check yourself and if act on it come on watch this could you do this before could you do this before watch a miracle happen could you do this before stamp it stamp it pastor stanley just pray for him hallelujah the lord perfect you in the name of jesus christ how many of you are celebrating what god is doing in this place the hand the lord is showing me someone severe pain in your right hand please when we call your case just run out quickly you are the one good evening thank you where is the pain in your right hand how long has it been up to five years now. up to five years what's wrong with it what happened i don't know just like that whenever i stretch it I feel pain in the can you turn it round up and down hold on can you do that before yes, but no but you, you feel pain yes. all right watch what will happen to you right now you believe that <laughs> it is such fun to see such fun to see Say can lose. hallelujah look at me i come in a name that is above every other name and we challenge this devil it goes look at me i want you to wind it as fast as you can go ahead don't think about it look at this hallelujah look at me sister what happened to you could you do this before could you do this before in the name of jesus the lord perfects you by the power of the holy ghost what's wrong with her What is this? I don't know. Alright, I'm going to pray for you. Does it pain you? Yes. Does it pain you? Yes. The pain will stop. He is able more than Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. Accomplish what concerns me. Jesus, that devil of darkness, be gone. In the name of Jesus, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, bring this lady. Just bring her. For God wants to use you and make a mighty woman of faith. I'm seeing that I don't know what it is that this lady matched. But she matched something that is demonic. That's what is happening to her. Jesus, do this for your glory. Do this for your glory. I set you free. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. I declare you free right now. Shalom. What's wrong? You dislocated your hands. Wow. God will give you a miracle now. I am the Lord that healed thee. 
a sick person you are a guest please come and line up quickly you brought a sick person you brought a sick person please just pick up god is doing some you brought a sick person now is the time please come out let's save time you brought a sick person outside you brought an invited guest who is sick please come quickly bring them to the front What's wrong with you? Please, technical help us. Pain. Under my stomach, I also feel pains in my chest. Pains. I feel pains. You believe in Jesus Christ. You believe he will set you free. Listen, sweetheart. What you see here are not stage managed miracles. Are you listening to me? You believe that? Please, can I have a lady? Just lay your hands on her chest. Kind of the Or is a demonic oppression you will rise up totally fine come come you're welcome come what's wrong with you madam schizophrenia what schizophrenia mental disorder schizophrenia we, i think we should employ some medical people who is studying you are a serious medical student or you are a doctor eh no we have doctor sir please come quickly quickly appreciate him Please, quick, 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 quick. Please hurry up, sir, and help us. Hallelujah. What is schizophrenia, sir? Schizophrenia is a psychiatric condition. Okay. That is characterized by hallucinations. You hear voices. You begin to see things that don't exist ah oh so it's like madness yes. like a psychosomatic yes. condition you'll be free right now look at me my dear you believe that because devils he said the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor to bind up the brokenhearted to set the captives free huh my dear hold my hands hold my hands can you look at me? Can you shout Jesus? Shout it as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That devil of schizophrenia. Go. In the name of Jesus. Who, who brought her? What happens to her? Okay, okay. It's going to leave her. Are you listening to me? It's going to leave her forever. All right. She sees things that are not there. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. And I'm seeing her waking up and shouting in the night. Yes. Is that true? Yes, sir. In the night, people are sleeping. She just wakes up and starts shouting. Yes, sir. That's what the Lord is showing me. The Lord set you free. Now, sister, look at me. It does not return to you again. And I also see the spirit of depression that has come upon you. The Lord sets you free. Look at me. Look at me. Run down there and run back. Run. I didn't say walk. Run. Run. Run like you're doing 100 meters relay. Do it one more time. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Now run back again. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Totally free. Totally free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sir, just please just spread yourself. Let's do that quickly. You just minister. We have to save time because everybody must be touched this night. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you, sister? This is a headache I've been having headache. for over a year now, yes. And it keeps making me present. Go! In the name of Jesus. 
Okay. I used to excrete blood. You used to excrete blood. It ends right now. Put your hands on your stomach. That devil of darkness. Be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. I've been having this particular backache. For backache. Lay your hands there. The power of God will hit you so hard. In the name of Jesus. Be totally hope. In the name of Jesus. They pray for you. Hallelujah. That's all. All right, let's have all the sick people come and line up quickly. Sick people, quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Heaven. Heaven. You're sick in your body, quickly. Oh, oh, oh. standing there I'd like you to be praying say Lord as these hands come upon me an end comes to it don't go back with your sickness those in the congregation be connecting some of you will be receiving the healing anointing in the name of Jesus go by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus
I like everyone inside and outside. If you know anybody in your family, listen, who is not feeling fine, or you brought the picture of anybody to connect or anything while we are praying, whether it's HIV or cancer, I like you to be connecting. Are you listening? The worshippers are they, they are worshiping. It's not just for the formality of it. They are creating an atmosphere. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? So I want you to connect. Are you listening to me? I want you to connect to what God is doing. Hallelujah. Please. Can you see? Touch this. 
Touch this. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. That devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfect you. Give God a shout of praise. There is lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders, sound of many waters, heaven and earth. family has experienced any kind of delay now is the time to let go any kind of delay no 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 no. hold on because of I know there are many people just go back to your seat but all of you who came out the five of you all of you come and hold your hands together all of you hold your hands together five of you but I'm going to pray for everybody look at me the power of God will touch you I sense a strong anointing are you listening to me? A strong anointing. Lord, let it move across right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Restoration for your family. Great restoration. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Now delay. Any kind of delay. No, no, no. Don't come out. Don't come out. Please, just stay where you are. Just lift your hands by faith. Because I see in the realm of the spirit two gates. Bring this lady. Ah, I see a lot of demonic things. Bakatata. Come out of this family now. In the name of Jesus. Every yoke of bondage. Batatata Lift your hands, everybody. 
Mantatapakata. Projects that are not completed by your family members. That devil of delay is a spirit. Hear me. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariot. At the count of three, the power of God as he's hitting you is touching your family members. One, two, three, like red oh God. Like red oh God. So papa takata. Every spirit of today, go, 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 and command God to be open, break through in the name of the spirit. Everyone under the sound of my voice, let the doors of destiny be open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, if you are a student here, I'd like you to shout amen. amen. You will know why you are shouting amen now. Because the Bible says that when Daniel was tested with his colleagues, that there was a kind of spirit that was upon him. And he was ten times. Suddenly, his, his intelligent creation his, his capacity listen friends I told you that this is the year you will do fearful exploit in your academics listen and if you are in 100 level happy are you in the name of the Lord Jesus hold on leave her don't touch her in the name of the Lord Jesus, look at me, young lady. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Let the power of God bring you forth. Let the power of God bring you forth. You will leave your seat and come forward by the influence of the spirit. Let it happen right now. The contention of light. All those affected will come out by themselves. Leave them. All those affected, they will come out. The Holy Ghost will take you from your seat and bring you here in front. You will come out by the Spirit. Tap that lady. Just tap her. Come. All of them. No, they can't stand. The Holy Ghost will bring you right in front by your, by himself. He will pick you from your seat. No matter how far you are, he will direct you and bring you in front. Leave them. Leave them. They will come by themselves. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. He will bring them to the front. He will bring them to the front by himself. It's a sign and a wonder of the sovereignty of Jesus. Look, ushers, leave that girl. She will come out by them by herself. If it's the Holy Ghost, He will bring her to the front. You will come out by the Holy Ghost to the front by yourself. It's the compelling power of the Holy Ghost and the castle in the spirit of power. There's one more person. There's one more person. You will come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. By the influence of the Holy Ghost. Sister, you come out by the Holy Ghost. You run to the front now by the power of the Spirit. For God to 
God will do a thorough work. Listen, I'm telling you, many of you will go back and see doors opening left and right. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. Sister, come out of her now in the name of Jesus. Be free. I set you free now sister I set you free because she's speaking a language in the realm of the spirit and I hear what she's saying the Lord is setting your family free in the name that is above all names for after the count of five victory will be established that's what the Lord tells me one two Three, four, five. Please call this sister for me. Come, my dear. For God is not only going to set you free tonight, but God has begun a walk in your family. This is Kemi's sister, right? You will go back and see the dramatic things. The Lord is even restoring. I see financial restoration. Mighty financial restoration. There is a property your father wants to sell. Tell him not to sell it. There is a blessing coming. You just go and tell him. Are you listening to me? And for you, look at me. This is an evil spirit. Now be free. Now. Now. This is an evil spirit. Look at me. I want to pray for you. Are you listening to me? Your family, can we come? Both of you stand. God is bringing a major, major restoration to your family. You believe that? Look at me. I don't know what it is, but the Lord is saying I should tell you that the Lord can bless you anywhere. In Nigeria, in UK, or Canada. God just says I should tell you. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands. Lord, let this lady step into a new level of favor. Now, me for you look at me is a restorative breakthrough god is bringing what you are entering now you would have you are supposed to have entered it since but the lord is restoring to you in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost by the power and the influence of the spirit where's your friend where's your friend the guy that came come There are three breakthroughs God is giving you. Do you understand? One, I will not talk about it, but you know what I'm talking about. The second is in the area of your business, and that restoration is going to come through wisdom and knowledge. Are you listening to me? Wisdom and knowledge. But look at me. God wants your heart like never before. Do you understand? Business books can only do so much. Are you listening to me? God must take your heart before he blesses your hand. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Give him an impartation, oh God. 
let him know he met the king of kings strong impartation in the name of Jesus I command freedom for you I command breakthrough for you by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of the Lord Jesus come you came from a university campus not Zaria where are you you came from a university camp, not Abi Uzaria. I'm seeing someone from a campus, not ABU. Who is that person? Please, please come, my brother. Come quickly, come and stand here. My brother, look at me. God is going to cause a hunger for him in your heart like never before. This is not the kind of prayer you expected me to pray for you. But well, you don't worry. Is that true? Sir, what did you expect? Uh, to prophesy to my life because I've been experiencing so many... Please, technical, help us. So, uh, I, I was looking for God's direction in my ministry. Basically, my whole life Look is... Look at going... me, my brother. You, are, you just started ministry or something like that. Okay, you are going into ministry. Yes, sir. You leave ministry and pursue God. You are not equipped. You will die for nothing. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. You just calm down. You need God. You need to experience the power of God. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. So that you don't jump into the error that people are having. However, yes, because you came here, yes, God will ignite a fire in you. Amen. It will first start with the spirit of prayer. Amen. It will fall on you. You will pray like a madman. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. And from there, God will begin to give you direction. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. Hold my hands as tight as you can. <laughs> look at me. Just look at me. Lord, as you have shown me, ignite him with a fire. Fire upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. The spirit of prayer let it fall on you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ where's the gentleman come from where foot mina mina again how many of you know that God is doing something in mina hold my hands my brother you came you will catch a fire look at me look at me you came with an hung with a hunger God will not leave you just lift one hand up you will feel literal fire coming upon this hand and it will flow through every part of your body. Lord, let it be done as you are showing me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the name of the Lord Jesus, that strong fire upon you, it flows from your hand, from your hand to every part of your body. And look at me, there is the spirit of leadership upon you. You are going back with a strong spirit of leadership. Are you listening to me? I'm hearing the name Rebecca. Sorry, we're out of time. We'll round up now. Rebecca. Rebecca. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. Look at me. You are a student? No. Where are you? I'm in secondary school. You are in secondary school? Yes, sir. Will you be available if God uses you yes, sir. to bring a great revival in your school? Yes, sir. What school is that? Jama Secondary School. Jama Secondary School. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Say after me, Jesus, I'm available. Like Catherine Kuhlman, let your fire come upon me. Now look at me. Look at, look at the answer to the prayer. You will never be the same again. It's a mighty impartation. You are the same name. Come. You are a student of where? Maybe you. Yes. What department? English language. You believe God can do great things through you? Huh? Yes, sir. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Use me. Use me. Anoint me. Anoint me. All right, now you have the answer to your prayer. In the name of Jesus, ignite her. See, it's like fire in your tummy. It's that of the spirit. You will never recover from it. Never. Never. In the name of Jesus. Foot me now. Okay, why did you delay? We have to hurry up. Please. 
did you bring your prayer request all right quickly quickly your prayer request outside make sure your prayer request if you are outside please write it quickly and pass it just stay where you are to heal to deliver to set free to win souls for the kingdom this and more may the Lord release upon you Futina. Uh, but you need to dedicate time for God huh? you don't pray you don't spend so much time in the word there's no other way to grow hmm? Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? But you came because you trust God to put a fire in you. Hold my hands, please. Lord, please put a fire in him. In the name of Jesus. That you will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. Your prayer request, please quickly pass them. Just pass it to the last person. We have to be out of here. Just wait because I need to prophesy to the life of everyone. So do that quickly outside even if you're just coming wherever you are please get a paper help one another with papers please hallelujah please quick 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 you should have written this before now but write it quickly please Because Pastor Jax is going to speak and prophesy the fire of evangelism. Are you listening to me? And Bishop is going to come and pray and prophesy and release the spirit of prayer. These two things. Are you listening to me? We have to do that quickly. The Lord is showing me doors that are opening. This is what I'm seeing. See, I'm seeing this thing again and again. Doors. Doors. Doors doors many of you don't know the value of an open door my dear come that lady close to Jessica come Yes, you come. My dear, you standing. You believe God can use you in a mighty way. You want him to use you. Lift your hands where you are. Lord, release an anointing upon her that will cause her to be mightily used. The Lord is showing me visions. I see two eyes being put upon you. Two eyes being put upon you. Lord, I pray that she'll begin to see great and mighty things beginning from today in the name of Jesus my dear God wants you you believe that and he wants you this is not the issue of just run away from all these men that want to run around you they don't even know where they are going focus on Jesus Christ are you listening to me you need him first ladies what you need first in your life is not a man is Jesus if you know how to love and relate with Jesus, a man will become an asset to your life. Are you listening to me? Hold on. We'll soon pray that prayer. That special prayer. To send away some people out of your life. And bring the people God has destined. Do you like that kind of prayer? But you must be willing and obedient. Sister, look at me. You want me to pray that God will anoint you? You want to pray? Make good friends an association of people who love God. Love is compulsory but relationship is not. Are you listening to me? You mustn't relate with everybody. You have a very tender heart. Let them not take you for granted. Hold my hands. Jesus, please do something in her life. I pray. Please give her an anointing in the name of Jesus. Bless her. Use her for your glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Steve Strings, please can you come up and sing There is none like you, your guitar. Hallelujah. 
while you bring the prayer request Steve Strings will sing there is none like you I just sense that that's what we need do we have the prayer request please quickly quickly if, let's, let's have it please pour it here quickly quickly alright there's, there's if you've not written just write we'll give you one minute quickly this is not a ritual God answers prayers I'm telling you My heart like you do I can search to all eternity, Lord And find there is none like you There's none like Jesus There is none like you There is none like you Hallelujah, hallelujah Now listen I've been waiting for the Holy Ghost to signify it. Please, everybody, stand up. Jesus is calling many people tonight. Listen to me. Many of you have heard me preach. You've seen the miracles. There are many of you standing outside. And the Lord is speaking to you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For many of you, you have been running away from God. Or you have been born again, but it's one leg inside, one leg outside. No one condemns you, but Jesus is calling you today. You came with your friend, but I like you. Don't let someone sitting by your left and right make you not to make this decision for Jesus Christ. You need Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way. There are many ways. He said, I am the truth. Hallelujah. I'm going to count one to ten. I like you to leave your seat and run out at that count of don't be ashamed the lord is talking to you many of you from the time i began to preach you have come to the end of the road as i count as i begin to count one to ten i like you to run and come out one two leave your seat and run inside and outside three four run out don't be ashamed of anybody five Outside, God is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Run out and come. Ushers, help them. Ushers, help them. Sing. Leave your seat. Forget about your friend. Forget about whoever you came with. We are waiting for you. Seven. Come to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Don't let your brother make you sit back there. There is a better life. There is a higher life. There is a greater life in Christ Jesus. Better than what you have experienced in eternity and in this No one. Jesus is still calling. Jesus is still calling. No other name. We have two more counts outside. Jesus is still speaking to a few people. Don't be ashamed of anyone. Leave your friend. Leave your relatives. Go on and come here. He's worthy of Nine. We are waiting for the last person. We are waiting for the last person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's all of you in front. Just pray this prayer with me, okay? Just say, Dear Lord Jesus, I come before you today, calling out to you. Please help me. Forgive me for my sins. Make me a new creature. <laughs> Wash me with your blood. Make me clean. I receive salvation in the name of Jesus. From today, I receive power to live a holy life in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for your people in the name of Jesus. 
blessed Holy Spirit, you see their hearts. I ask that God, you uphold them with the power of your word. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that Lord, everything that has pulled them thus far, Lord, has pulled them far from you. Everything that has held them back. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that Lord, you break them away from it in the name of Jesus. Give them strength to walk with you. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ and you are forgiven by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please put your, hold on, just put your hands together for them. We welcome you to the greatest, biggest, most victorious family. Not Koinonia, the kingdom of heaven. God's own kingdom. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Jesus brought all of you here. I want you to begin a great and practical work. Are you listening to me? Please. We love you. I want your salvation to be genuine. Don't just make it emotional and then go back. Uh -uh. Are you listening to me? A Christian's life must be backed up by a radical shift. You must leave the things you used to do. There's power. You must break away from ungodly associations. There must be a practical step. That's why the power is upon you. Hallelujah. Now, you do this for me very quick. Very quickly. The ushers are going to have your details. Are you listening to me? Tomorrow, you're going to have a special session with Pastor Jakes. He's going to talk to you. He's going to follow you up. And then we'll get all of you filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And then you'll begin... Every time we get people born again, the moment we follow you up with some foundational teachings, once you get filled with the Holy Spirit, you march straight to prayer band for one month. Hallelujah. You pray for one month. After that time, you'll be strong enough. We want our fruits to abide. Hallelujah. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord. Whatever has held you down, it leaves you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let this be a new life for you. Please get up and follow the ushers. Please celebrate this harvest. Just follow the ushers. Don't worry, you will come back. Follow the ushers quickly. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, please look up. We, are, we don't have time. Pastor Jax is going to speak just in a few seconds and release upon us the spirit of soul winning. Are you listening to me? Everyone must become a soul winner. Hallelujah. Sir. Hallelujah. Because God is going to be giving some of us a new heart. It starts with your heart. A compassionate heart. If you are willing and ready for this, the Lord will visit you with it. Some of you will literally feel like fire on your feet. That's what I'm sensing right now. A fire will come upon some of you, your feet. Thank you, blessed Lord. Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Up your hands. Lift up your hands as we pray. Blessed Father, Abba Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. I ask that God, you release from heaven. You release a fire from heaven, Lord. You release a fire upon your people from heaven. I ask in the name of Jesus, let there be a visitation. Let the presence of God come upon you. Let the fire of God come upon you. A passion for souls. In the name of Jesus, let fresh fire, let fresh fire be released upon your heart. Your heart begins to burn for souls and pants for it. You will not find rest. You will not find rest. In the name of Jesus, your tongue, the fire of God comes upon your tongue. In the name of Jesus Christ, the fire of God comes upon your feet. The Holy Spirit will lead you to, to, to speak the word, to speak the gospel, the angels of salvation. Lord, we pray that we release in the name of Jesus. 
the four corners of this place, let them be released. Let the oil and the mantle of evangelism be released. We pray, Lord, I pray that you grant your people vision for souls, a hunger for souls, for souls. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Aprendo siba. Rieto mi anta intush limante risuminta rionte itapila suminante itusigrasha rista minta sumelete ikopo subala dalamanya ikamaso sapasiba. Lord, I pray that God is far will burn continually. We pray. To burn continually, Lord. We pray in their hearts. Our hearts will be on fire. Hallelujah. That's the spirit of evangelism. That's the spirit of evangelism. Now, Bishop is going to pray. I pray this will fall strong on people. The spirit of prayer. Many of you need to pray. Many of you need to pray. Many of you need to pray. Lord, the spirit of grace and supplication rest in the house in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit and the glow of the altar of the Lord rest upon your heart. Let your heart will yearn. For his presence, that the Lord will make you successful for your family. Well, I will turn to the Lord and take your family to the Lord. Well, I will turn and deliver the truth and the truth of God from the hands and the mouth of the enemy. For the Lord find you and love you and is successful. Men and women of prayer. In the name of Jesus, may the authority of God rest upon your hands. That you will speak for Him. 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 In the name of Jesus, you trust God. The glory of the Lord upon the church from the blood that goes and put on your knees. That will bring the fire. your hands here quickly if you dropped any prayer request here I'd like you to know it will be answered Lord we pray stretch your hands and say Lord go ahead and let's pray Lord do mighty things solve problems bring impossible miracles in the name of the Lord Jesus as we make contact with these requests in the name of the Lord Jesus prophetically wipe the tears of many in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus 
Atata Baradaba Rakata Prokoto Prokoto Baladaba Rakata Prakata Kata 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 in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray. Every prayer point here, let it be met. In the name of Jesus. Lord, release supernatural miracles for the sake of your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now lift your hands. I want to prophesy. This is the final thing I will go. Please, if you came here, now is the time for you to receive something. Please, don't go back the same. Hallelujah. Listen. See, the apostolic anointing is not just talk. Are you listening to me? The apostolic anointing is an office. Are you, are you listening to me? It's an office. It's not just apostle. This, no, 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 no. It's an office. No man works. The Bible says he gave unto some apostles. It's a position of authority. Are you listening to me? It's an office that is recognized in the spirit. It's, an elect, it's not an issue of prayer and fasting. It's an office. God gives us this office to open up doors for others. It's an election by grace. And if you believe it tonight, you will step into a level of blessing. Lift your hands. Lord, if I be a servant of God, truly called into this apostolic office, my God, confirm this anointing upon me. Once again, I invoke the anointing that was given upon me when Jesus appeared to me. My God and my King, let there be a performance. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. I challenge thrones. I challenge dominions. I challenge offices. I stand in the anointing of this office. I compel every closed door over your life, over your academics, delaying marriage. I release you. I call your partner to come to you in the name of Jesus. I pray. I pray that the favor of God for he has granted unto me by grace my God and my King. I see it like water flowing from the ground. Let the favor of God sweep let it sweep across this congregation outside i prophesy favor i prophesy favor i prophesy favor if you can hear my voice receive favor receive favor in your academic favor in your financial favor in your relationship favor in the name of jesus hallelujah I want to prophesy speed upon your life and that of your family members in the name of Jesus before the next miracle service I prophesy run with the spirit of Elijah supernatural accomplishment exploit by the power of the Holy Ghost exploit 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 hallelujah I pray for every project whether in your life or your family building project capital project businesses in the name of Jesus God of heaven the one who is at work in this place I invoke by the power of the Holy Ghost let there be grace for completion receive it receive it outside receive it outside receive it I pray for your academics in the name that is above all names. I want to release it upon you. And if you will believe, I release five points in the name of Jesus. I release it. I release it. I release first class in the name of the Lord Jesus. 
supernatural intelligence every dull mind i command you be productive be intelligent every cause you cannot understand go back and challenge it now in the name of the lord hallelujah i pray against habit masturbation pornography whatever it is if it's a habit that is not of god this moment you have prayed you have fasted you have done everything you know to do but i come under the anointing in this office i command be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus hallelujah i pray all those who are trusting god for life partners and for marriage listen please if you are not trusting god better put your hand we are not playing here we are very very serious if you are trusting god for i don't mean people coming around first and foremost any guy roaming around your life just to mess up your life i pray that tonight God will open your eyes in the name of Jesus may God expose destiny destroyers this night may God connect you with the will of God for your life I command supernatural marriages for you and your loved ones in the name of Jesus I command any kind of terminal disease and I see this, the Lord is showing me ladies, many diseases, infection, whatever it is. I cause it now to its root in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for your finances. My God and my King, if your word is true, between now and the next miracle service, if it is the God of heaven we serve, you will receive a call if it is a god if it is god that we serve may you receive a call that will shock you i prophesy it i program your spirit to receive it in the name of jesus i hear a call it's a call it's a call that's what god told me it's a supernatural call receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah many of you who have been confused about your life especially men receive grace to sit down and be established in the name of jesus no more confusion the reason why you were born listen to me the reason why you were born between now and the next two weeks everyone here who does not know you are just roaming around the surface of the earth escorting men if God be God, may the reason why you were born be revealed to you in dreams, in visions, by prophetic encounters, by the revelation of the word. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Finally, I pray for you. Lift your hands. There are certain anointings that God has put upon this house. Are you listening to me? Number one, the presence of God. I don't idolize this but it's true number two the favor of God the wisdom of God financial prosperity are you listening to me and such as we have my God and my King may it be released upon you now favor wisdom the presence of God the power of God the miraculous I activate the gift of the Spirit now all across the building the gift of the spirit receive it gift of healing faith prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues i activate your spirit man visions visions i call for fivefold ministry fivefold offices let the apostolic arise let the prophetic arise let the evangelistic arise let the pastoral arise. Let teaching graces arise. Ba ta 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 ta. Ra ba 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 ba. Boko topotia. Upon ladies, strange order, 
of the prophetic strange order of the prophetic strange order strange order grace to see grace to hear grace to move in power hallelujah hallelujah we're rounding up please listen to me in closing all of you hear me inside and outside please listen we're training people to be men and women of character are you listening to me not just anointing it's not enough to have power those who are students you must have character this is the year you will demonstrate the character of the spirit be disciplined be dedicated you can't be flying around every party cannot be it hallelujah your christianity must bear fruit and everyone must witness it hallelujah so as you leave this place go and call all those people that cause you to walk in unrighteousness and let them know you have begun a new walk with god i'm telling you do it go and delete every ungodly song in your phone break all those cities and kick it out of your house you are either a christian or you are not hallelujah you are either a christian or you are not say i'm a man or a woman of character yes the character of the spirit must be at work in your life your conversation you cannot be speaking as if you are not born again and then when you come to church you say hallelujah no you must speak like a christian are you listening to me say amen, amen. inside and outside say amen. amen you must speak like a christian hallelujah you must act like a christian act like jesus is lord of your life anything cannot be it be disciplined you are a leader and be humble say i receive grace for humility if you are an arrogant person in this place i set you free from that spirit of arrogance be humble listen make sure by love you serve people are you listening to me the greater one in the kingdom gone are the days of all these men of god ah protocol for me uh -uh. the greater one is the one who can kneel down and serve are you listening to me take away that wrong mindset of ministry that has been given to people oh you are the woman of god you are the man of god bend down let your work speak for you let to wash the feet of others consider others better than yourself are you listening to me say i'm a christian if you are coming here for the first time let me prophesy into your life please leave your seat and come out inside and outside appreciate them very quickly please come out here quickly come out here quickly please clap for them they are coming ushers lead them to come to the front you are welcome give them a koinonia welcome we'll soon be out of this place now hallelujah quickly quickly thank you jesus come on koinonia will you appreciate them hallelujah 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 please keep coming we'll pray for you i want to thank every one of you for coming this is koinonia hallelujah especially for many of you who came all the way thank you so much for coming we appreciate you we receive you hallelujah we are happy we are proud of you we want to pray for you that this will be the beginning of unusual hunger for god that this will be the beginning of passion for the things of the spirit and that this will be the beginning of an unlimited life of breakthrough in the name of jesus saints of god stretch your hands towards them as we pray we are praying for you may the lord bless you we pray that god will make you better than you are in the name of jesus for those of you who have been healed and touched i pray that your miracle will remain in the name of the lord jesus dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon, and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget 
to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye